These are some Dinar Guru highlights, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. News from Iraq is still stunning. Rumors from folks on the ground are still looking for the raid this Wednesday, maybe Saturday of this week. This is what they are hopeful for. We'll have to wait and see if it pans out. All right, Mountain Goat article quote, Iraq is preparing to join the World Trade Organization. Does Iraq need an international currency to join the WTO? No, they do not. However, I believe they are attempting to do so prior to becoming a full member of the WTO. Certainly an international currency would make it much easier to trade if you have currency on Forex. Quite frankly, I believe it would be extremely hard for Iraq to conduct major trading of goods and services with the rest of the world through the currency process of the auctions and being pegged solely to the U.S. dollar. The risks would be too high and they know it. This is part of the white paper reforms to go to the Forex. Walking stick via Frank 26, a monetary reform must be announced after the seating of the government. At that time, they will also discuss the dinar's value and billions to be put into circulation in the streets of Iraq for the citizens. This part is for the citizens' IQD exchange in country going from the three zero notes to the new small category notes exchange in their country. Samson article quote after the judiciary opened an investigation into the audio leaks, Al Maliki may face, may face execution or life. If the recording is proven correct, according to it, the judicial investigation, the penalties that will face those who threaten to kill, incitement to civil war, and incitement to attack a holy city, according to anti-terror law, the penalty is up to death or life, considering what was stated in the recording is a threat to Iraqi national security and stirs up sectarian strife, according to anti-terrorism law number 13 of 2005, unquote. Mark Z via PDK, there is so much positive intel and crazy amount of anticipation today. We continue to get phenomenal news out of Iraq. They are expecting that reset at any moment as far as their value goes. Most of the chatter I'm hearing out of Iraq is they expect a reinstatement, which would put the rate in the high $3. Their articles all talk about, quote, restoring the value of the dinar to pre-war rates, unquote. Stay grounded just in case we get to tomorrow and do not see a rate change. We are in what appears to be the final days of this. We are hearing good news from everywhere. Pimpy is saying until this government is formed, everything is stabilized. It's going to be a while before the exchange rate has changed. Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground report Firefly. My banking friend says watch for something this week from the CBI in relation to putting the dinar back to the previous rate. Not sure what rate, but that's what he told me. Not sure if they mean 1200 but we're watching for something from the CBI. Hopefully, they'll put it back this week. My bank friend is telling me, look this coming week. Frank says, yes, my, in my opinion, we know there is a change coming, and the fact that they are telling you directly straight to your face is extremely good. We are as close as your breath is to your lungs. Mountain Go article quote, uh, the Patriot... Patriotic Union of Kurdistan explodes a surprise about the presidency of the Republic, unquote. Mountain Goat says, we could be getting very close to the conclusion of the new government. Let us hope and pray there are no other snags. Tivan says, what did Al-Kazimi command of his cabinets on June 23rd? He says, to address the, the USD rate at the earliest legislative session, correct? Well, what is coming up this week, the EFSL cannot work without a rate change. So what does he request of all ministries this past Sunday to adjust contracts and wages? All right, and Mark Z via PDK, there is definitely a high alert for the next seven hours through early in next week. On the banker side, they are very much thinking seven hours through the next four to five days. That is when they believe we are going to see things. I have a treasury contact. This says sometime over the next three weeks. An absolute worst case scenario from an international contact that says things could drag out as long as September. But the overwhelming majority believe it's absolutely any moment within the next seven hours to early next week. Most are watching the next 24 hours. And lastly, Bruce via Wiser Now, the thing could fire off where we do get notifications and go. More likely Thursday, we've been told by more than one, quote, it will happen this week, unquote. So I'd say by Thursday or Friday, we should be in the redemption centers.